there, everybody in podcast land. Welcome to the Sports 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 Podcast. I am Joel Anderson. I'm Jordan Pomaville. And joining us, as always, is Phil Ranta, the sports outsider. But I feel so inside. I'm inside. Well, maybe you're growing. Oh, that could be it. Maybe I'm just getting fatter. Yep. And <laughs> Who fatter knows? and fatter. And fatter and God, fatter. God, Phil, you look like you might weigh 215 pounds right now. God, no way. I'm an even 195. Ooh. Yeah, ladies, you hear that, Mr. Ranta? Ooh. Yeah, I'm 195, 195 and you're what? 195, six, I'm six three, yeah, six three, 195. That's what the ladies Not call an ounce of muscle. A bean pole. I'm a little bit of a bean pole. Yeah. <laughs> that's my pickup line. But hey, he'll he'll bean your pole. Yeah, wait a second. No, that, that's reverse. Nope. The the pole would have to be the, the pole would do the beaning. Bean? Yeah, the, but the, there's not the. But, ugh. Okay, why don't why don't we move on? Uh, Phil, you. Did you catch any games this week? I did catch a game this oh, week. What? You know what? I, actually, it's been two weeks since we recorded our last podcast. I caught one uh, two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Um, I went and saw a team play live. Woo! What? In they were person? a team called the Lakers, and it was apparently the playoffs. They went to a, you went to a Lakers, Lakers playoff game? game? Yeah. Uh, apparently, they were playing. Uh, it was game one, and they were playing a uh, Denver team. Yeah, the Denver, Denver Nuggets. Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Uh, I was sitting in the VIP section. What? What the f- and very this? comfortable chairs, and I got to go in through a back entrance that was dimly lit, and I got a free T-shirt. Did you get food? Well, yeah, I got food. Was the food free? Uh, no, oh. no. But they had a separate line away from the the groundlings. That's yeah, true. I, I think actually, I think I, I went and sat there once at the Staples Center. Pretty nice. But it was for a Kings game. How the hell did you score playoff tickets to see the Lakers? That's a big deal yeah. for someone who doesn't like sports. I ate so well. It was delicious. That doesn't explain how you that got wasn't the tickets. The, you didn't answer and the I got a free T-shirt. Which is the important yes. thing. You're not going to tell us where you got the tickets I had from? to do a lot of terrible things for those tickets. Okay. No, my right. roommate uh, works for a ticket broker, and he got them and went, hey, you want to go see a game? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So we left and went and saw it. Are we talking about Narver? Yeah. Narver doesn't like sports either, does no, he? No, we both enjoyed uh, – I had a foot-long you bacon know hot dog. Uh, it there, was fantastic. There, no, there are no doubt any number of loyal Los Angeles listeners right now who are tearing their hair out with fury. Oh, they were all sitting around us, and yes. we were not watching the game. A lot, of, we were live tweeting a lot of it. It's, live tweet. It's, it's a it, a playoff Lakers game is kind of a big deal. Yeah, it, that's it, a hot ticket. That is tough to get in. It was kind of a blowout, though. I think the Lakers were up by 20 pretty much the entire time. Did you do the the We Want Tacos chant at the end? Yes, and I got free tacos. That is a great chant. Uh, What? What, uh, what do you get tacos for? Uh, if they uh, hold the uh, opposing team to less than 100 points and the Lakers win, you get two free tacos from Jack in the Box. Oh, that's it. It used to be the Lakers had to score that amount. No, yeah. no, no. Okay. They, they made can. it easier because we want then, tacos. But then they put it on the scoreboard. We want tacos to facilitate the chant. Yeah. And the fans start chanting for tacos. <laughs> that's called viral marketing, gents. Is it really? Yeah. How is that viral marketing? On a scoreboard that says, say, chant, we want tacos. Oh, because then it goes out to uh, TV uh, things, and then it becomes a well-known thing. Uh. So everybody goes, hey, did you hear when they said, we want tacos? And it becomes like an office joke. Two Jack of the do- Box tacos are, that's like a dollar. It's a yeah, dollar. It's a dollar. They're effectively giving you a dollar. Yeah. But, oh, they're so delicious. No. No, they're not. I, no. I disagree uh, with you. Uh, I don't know. There, there are times. Jo- when drunk. They're never delicious. Yeah. They're they, passable. They, do hit they hit the, the spot. spot. They times. hit the yeah. spot. Yeah. I, will, I will go with that. All right. Yeah. Why don't we Why don't we move along here? What okay. do we got on the decade? Well, I'm glad you brought up basketball, Phil. Why? <laughs> because we're going to talk some b-ball, some hoops. No, I don't Woo! care much for the sport, but go on. Uh, to be honest, neither Jordan or I, but there we everybody go. else does. But, but I like sport. I would totally go to a Lakers playoff game. That's exciting. Yeah. That's an event. Yeah, that's oh, like man. Any postseason game for any sport. Yeah, to that's exciting. Out. Where else can you get nachos with that much gooey cheese? Well, actually, Nowhere. a variety of yeah, sporting. Yeah, a number of different places. Yeah. Oh, really? Gooey cheese. No, yeah. maybe I don't go see enough sports, huh? <laughs> yes. We're going to let that with Yes, you Okay, go. okay. All right. But anyway, so so oh, so we're going to talk. We're going to play. We're actually going to have Chris Humphreys here. Oh, I've never met the gent. Well, you'll be here. Actually, yeah. No, you've actually missed the past couple interviews. No, I missed yeah. the last couple interviews with Chris Humphreys. We send you behind the glass. Delightful. Me and Joel do the sports talk with him. Right, yeah. right. I'm not allowed in the room. Uh, he's not on a playoff team, is he? No. He's on what? Milwaukee? They no. didn't make he, the playoffs. He was on they? the Nets. The he's Nets. on the Nets. Right? <laughs> Hell, we, <laughs> well, he was on the Nets, but well, then he wasn't on the Nets. Yeah, because it was from Chloe and oh, Kim uh, d- uh, Take New York, the reality show. That's where they met. So it must have been some sort of New York adjacent team. Tell you yeah, what, we'll Google it before he comes at that in. Point, but I think he's now 
on Milwaukee? Minnesota. Christian? Oh, because Minnesota. he's not very good, um, so he's he gets traded. But he's yeah. from Minnesota, so maybe you're just thinking of Chloe, Chloe and Kim take New York when they had to go to Minnesota and shoot. They were all upset. Oh, the the Fargo edition? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. You know, guys, we, we will figure this out before we... We, it would be really embarrassing. Sure, sure. It's we're, already a little embarrassing. So we're gonna play yeah. a quick game with everyone and, and Chris Humphries. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have Guy Guy Gagne. Oh, Guy Gagne. Guy and favorite. I do not get along necessarily. He got a little randy with me last time. Well, you were also kind of a dick. I was a little yeah. bit of a dick to him. Hey, uh, he's. Uh, I saw him walking into the studio. He's a little irritable. Guys. Right. So maybe. Well, you know, those he's French a Canadians hockey fan. Hot temper. So. Yeah. So just. Uh, the French Canadians with the hot tip of that, that old stereotype. Right, yeah. right. They're all like, bah, 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 bah. That is a stereotype, isn't it? They, have, they had a hockey riot once. No, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know the angry French Canadian is a, is a specific, oh, those hot, boiling, mad French can- Is it? Right. I, I, I always thought Canada. fur trappers. Like, French Canadians, yeah. I think fur trappers. Is well, that weird? That, that fits because Guy is wearing a rather sizable beaver pelt hat. Right. Yeah. I oh. should have made a joke about that last time because beaver can mean two things. That's, that's true. Yes. I don't know why you didn't, Phil. Just spreading the word on ha. that. So can damn. That's a damn good point. <laughs> that's just uh, what. Uh, that's one of them. What else we got? Oh well, it, well because that we're going to talk about him. We're gonna there's uh there's these radio commercials to promote because we're going to talk hockey. Western yeah. Conference Finals is set. Yes. Ooh. Kings versus the Coyotes. Ah. The Los Angeles and. Phoenix. No, oh, two great hockey two towns. Hockey hotbeds. This right. is, this might be the cause of some of Guy's irritability. I think it probably is. That makes sense. Yeah. All the ice is gonna melt. Uh yeah. There's not, it's too nothing, hot there. Nothing too says hot hockey price. like Phoenix in May, right? Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be skating on Slurpee. <laughs> skating on Slurpee. Skating Trademarked. On Slurpee ice. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is. This is the loosest opening we've ever. This recorded. is, yeah. What else is going on? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? We got Menino's wedding in a couple days. There yeah, we go. We That's a good one. Hey, <laughs> goes out to Mike Menino and Samantha Jones. Yeah, they're getting married Congrats, on Saturday. Guys, oh, congratulations, guys! We're all pretty amped about it. Yeah, are we doing another weird sport today? You're goddamn right. We're oh, doing a weird yeah, sport. Yeah, we are doing a weird sport. Yeah, today. I forgot that was the other thing on the deck. It. It's gonna be weird. I promise. <laughs> and a sport. It'll be both <laughs> same time. It Sometimes was, you play a little loosey goosey with weird and sport. Right, right. This time it's They've both. They've all been weird, but some of them have not been sports. A couple uh, of them were odd. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll grant you that. <laughs> a couple of I, th- maybe we should do an <laughs> odd game section sometime too. <laughs> odd just games. so we can get the rest. Odd games. <laughs> I'm not going to echo that in post. <laughs> yeah. No way. It's like Monopoly, but with Clue. Right. Ah, oh, gee, should we get this started? Yeah, let's get it rolling. Uh, hey guys, so I found this uh, recording on LA radio about the uh, LA Kings playoffs. Like sports radio? <laughs> yeah, sports they, radio. Uh, you, what, Phil, were listening to sports radio? No, Man. no, I was trying to murder myself in my car, so I left <laughs> the engine running with a hose in the window, and lo and behold, sports radio was on, and I had my recorder. Should so we the- take a listen? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's hear it. <laughs> Congratulations, Angelinos! Your Los Angeles Kings have advanced to the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. The most exciting postseason in professional sports. Tickets are still available to cheer on your Kings as they take on the Phoenix Coyotes. Another Western Conference hockey team with the winner advancing to the Stanley Cup Final, which effectively determines the NHL champion. Will you be there as the Kings attempt to bring home Lord Stanley's Cup, the trophy awarded to the winner of the Stanley Cup Finals? The NHL Western Conference Finals begin Sunday, May 13th at Staples Center. Do not show up thinking there will be an NBA playoff game and complain about the cold. Visit LAKings.com or the Staples Center box office to buy tickets today. It's cold to keep the ice frozen. Every fan will receive an LA Kings rally towel. Hockey is played on ice. Dress warm and go Kings! And now it's time for another Weird Sports! Weird sports. All right. What do we what do we have this week? What are we looking at in terms of a weird sport? Well, I'll tell you. This week's weird sport, rabbit show jumping. What? Ooh. Ra- rabbit show jumping. Does this involve people riding rabbits? No. I don't see how that would be feasible. <laughs> no. People can't ride rabbits. You know why? Rabbits too small. People too big. 
<laughs> rabbit show jumping, also known as rabbit dressage or <laughs> rabbit hopping. <laughs> I think we're going to refer to it as rabbit dressage for the rest right. of the Right. It, it classies it up a little bit, yeah, right? It's I was going to say, is this, is this European riding or Western? Well, it depends whether you call it dressage or jumping. In America, <laughs> hey, look, go see rabbit jumping. In Europe, they're like, oh, we're going to go see rabbit dressage. I'm from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> right? Same yeah. deal. All right, rabbit dressage is a competition in which trained domestic rabbits, in other words, not wild rabbits. They're trained domestic rabbits, of course. The yeah. trained kind. They leap over appropriately sized obstacles. I assume when they say appropriately sized, they mean rabbit sized. <laughs> so very small. <laughs> yeah, they're not very big obstacles. They can't be. You know why? Rabbits, despite what they show in the cartoons, don't jump very high. Also, not as large as they might be in a cartoon. No. Where you might see them the same size as, as a, a hunter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a duck is also the same size <laughs> yes. as a hunter. Hunter, very short. Rabbit, yeah. very tall. It, Elmer Fudd, when you think about it, is amazingly confident when he goes out hunting, given the sheer size of the game that he's going after. Yeah. Right. It's like a beast rabbit. I know. <laughs> it's taller than he is. It speaks and it's smarter than him. And, and it yeah, knows he's... magic. Yeah. It can turn into other things quickly. And it's immortal. I would be more cautious were I Elmer Fudd. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It can take a shotgun to the face, and all it does is the face turns all black. So tell us, how does one dressage a rabbit? Okay, well, I'm going to give you a little backstory first. The activity began in the late 1970s. Everyone was high. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it was started in Sweden, where it was known as cannon hopping. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, rabbit hopping, cannon hopping. Mm. Right? Mm. Swedish people, all of our hey, Swedish listeners. What is hopping? Well, it was popularized in the United Kingdom following an appearance on the TV show, That's Life. Oh, I love That's Life. Yeah. The, hey, there's a bunch of rabbits and they're in a competition. Well, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> so they threw the commercial every time. Uh, there are more than 50 rabbit show jumping clubs throughout Scandinavia. <laughs> Largely a Scandinavian sport, it sounds like. Well, yeah, in America, they've got horses. Y yes. Well, I mean, I think they have at least some of them in, in, in Scandinavia. Then what the hell are they doing with rabbits? <laughs> what the hell are they doing? I don't know, but but then bog snorkeling seemed pretty odd to me, and that's apparently a thing, so... Right. Yeah. Are you ready for the uh, well dumb moment of weird sports? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here it is. Some people compare rabbit show jumping to equestrian show jumping. <laughs> that's what it says in the article. So, but it's show jumping. It's not steeplechase. Right, right. There's a race involved. The, right. the rabbits aren't racing. No. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and say I don't think that is an appropriate uh, comparison, the equestrian show jumping. I think it's more like the dog obstacle courses. Because in the equestrian ones, someone is riding the mm. horse. Ah, this yes. This is one where you've got to train the animal to do it all itself. They should have a, uh, a baby like rabbit ride right on the back of a regular rabbit to make it a little bit more of a comparison or a toddler or to, yeah have a toddler Very competent toddler <laughs> how cute would that be you guys <laughs> slap on a tiara yeah and then uh, it could be on toddlers and tiaras <laughs> on rabbits yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> totally totally i'd watch that um so trainers and devotees can win titles and award during events sponsored by groups such as the u.s rabbit agility association <laughs> rabbit hopping usa and the American Association of Sporting Events for Rabbits. <laughs> that, that last one, I thought, well, this one won't have a comical name. And yeah, you know what's yeah, funny? Yeah, sure those, those are all American uh, things. And then also the 4-H club. Um, <laughs> but th they're all American things. And the events are held in Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway, and the United Kingdom. All sponsored by America in those countries. Not American countries. What the hell, man? Where's our rabbit show jumping? Uh, that, that's a good point. I, I said, wanna... what the hell, man? I want answers. Hey, hey. I hear there's not appropriate venues. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> what are they going to do? Put them inside of the Staples just, Center or yeah, something? Just, you wouldn't yeah, be able to see the rabbits. There aren't any good rabbit courses in the United States. Yeah. It's a travesty. You think about how many goddamn golf courses there are out there, and it's right? like, Jesus Christ. Convert one of them to rabbit jumping. Yeah. I, hear, I hear another major problem is a lot of the obstacles in the United States are not appropriately sized. That's oh, true. yeah. Yeah. I Americans like things big and rabbits very small. 
Don't, rabbit don't courses are very tiny. I've, I've heard that the, the rabbit courses in America have really tiny obstacles. Too small even for the rabbits. They just didn't build it well. We don't have yeah. the engineering prowess of a Denmarkian. Just don't got it. We don't got it like <laughs> a, they got it. A Dane. Dane. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Let's not throw around Dane. words like Yeah, let's not throw out racist terms for Denmarkians it's, now. It's <laughs> Some of them are feminine, but yeah. they're not all Danes. Right. Dane with an N. Oh. Dane. oh I see where Danish. you were going with it's that. Another one. one of your puns, I bet. You yep. don't you don't go, oh, I hope there's a cheese Denmarkian left for me this morning. Oh, I would love a cheese Denmark. No, you Denmarkian. say I hope there's a cheese Dane in there for me. I say <laughs> I hope there's some fucking cheese in there for me. Are we talking about the same thing? I don't uh no. Okay. So. In that case, <laughs> the the event depends on the type of rabbit. With separate con- competitions for small rabbits and larger rabbits. Smaller rabbits can't do what larger rabbits can do. Larger rabbits need larger obstacles. Smaller rabbits, very small obstacles. <laughs> what the? Are you guys following? What do you think they call the weight classes in rabbit jumping? I'm sorry, rabbit dressage. Uh, they call them uh, bitty hops <laughs> and, and boom jumping. <laughs> Feather hops. Fly hops. <laughs> right. Welter hops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> and, uh, wow, I really lost it when you said feather hops. I don't know why. <laughs> My brain went to a different place. Are there youth organizations so that bunnies can get involved at an early age? <laughs> no. You mean bunnies who have a life of crime and they need to get out and start rabbit hopping so that they're not joining rabbit gangs? At risk bunnies, I'm talking right. about. They don't want. I don't want them to develop into problem rabbits. Right, right. The ones that are murdering hunters <laughs> by uh, <laughs> sticking their fingers in right. their shotgun. Yeah, and so that it explodes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Terrible. Totally. There should be. If there's not. I'm sick of rabbits breaking into my homes, <laughs> stealing all my carrots. I know what you mean. You, you can't go to the walk down market. the street with a bag of baby carrots without some stupid ass rabbit coming and ruining it all. And they're armed. Yes. And appropriately sized. And they're <laughs> legged. And they can jump. Very high. Speaking of rabbit jumping, the rules are quite different in all countries except Sweden and Norway. Therefore, it's hard to organize an international competition. Oh, yeah. too many different local rules. Yep. Believe it or not, rabbit jumping is also an activity in America, but has not gained widespread popularity. What? Yes. What? Why not? I cannot understand how. Oh, that's, that's our rabbits are all fat and lazy because they don't have sports. That we need some sort of Title IX equivalent. Right. We need you some know, sort for, of... For every dollar spent on human sports, there should be an equivalent dollar spent on rabbit sports. Right. Like, we should really have some sort of U.S. Rabbit Agility Association out there. So, oh, wait, we do have a U.S. Rabbit Agility Association. Not a good one, clearly. No, not doing their job. Not doing their job I think it's all. one guy who lives in a cabin out in Montana who's <laughs> like, I got so many rabbits. <laughs> They're so agile. That's a good point. We should we should look them up online. I would love to put a phone call in. We should try and do an interview. We could get a yeah. guest. We should actually try to get uh, a rabbit guest. Ga- uh, no, not a rabbit guest. But right, because <laughs> they wouldn't say much. <laughs> well, they, they something like that. They kind of sound so, like uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. Right. Sure. So yeah, I, w- yeah. I was wondering, rabbit guest, how does it feel to be part of the U.S. Uh, rabbit Agility Association? Not that so dissimilar, Batman. <laughs> oh, man, that's creepy. I will not put a pencil on the table. No. Because I know how that story ends. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh. How do, we, how do we get to I'm Batman. really worked up about this rabbit stuff. I know. I am really worked up. Well, I you know what? We think get... we got to put in a call to the U.S. Rabbit Agility Association and let them know that they are, they are depriving us Americans of our hard-won right to... Rabbit competition. Well, th- this is something I do want to see. We'll end it at this. The official world record in high jump for rabbits Ooh, is... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, set the over-under, Jordan. What do you think? For a rabbit, is this large or small? We don't know. I would assume it's a large rabbit who would set the record. I'm going to set it at 6.3 feet. Feet. I, uh, I high? Take this the, is a high jump. High oh, jump. oh! <laughs> that would be oh a my hell God. of a high re- That would. I was gonna say. I thought you made a mistake there. Would yeah. Big, uh, okay. It's a high jump. Oh, high jump. Uh, I think you're gonna uh, say inches at the end of that. I'm gonna say 26 inches. 26 okay. inches. What would is... it help if I said that this was in meters? 
oh, or millimeters. God. Millimeters, centimeters, decimeters, or meters. Yeah, so, so in, in metric, that's uh, that's what? That's, it's a little over two feet, which puts it at like close to two-thirds of a meter. 66. I'm going to say 66 centimeters. Okay. 66 centimeters. Oh, All that's right. really high for a rabbit. I am, I am going to take the over, actually, on 66 centimeters. Well, you know what, Joel? You're correct. 99.5 centimeters. Woo! That Almost a, a meter. Oh, it's killing those rabbits to break the meter barrier. Yep. Someday there's going to be a hero rabbit that comes along and breaks the record. You mean rabbit banister? Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Remember that song? Classic. Yeah. This comes to an end. Another All right, now we're going to play a quick game. Oh, first of oh. all, I'd like to welcome to the studio Chris Humphreys. Hey, Chris Humphreys. Nice hey, to meet you, finally. On? Hey, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I am glad to be back. Uh, I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, we love having you on. Yeah, I got a lot of free time lately. Yeah, well, when's your next game, Chris? Uh, my next game? Oh. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You didn't. Yeah. That season, that's uh, that's on me. Yeah, it's a, it's a ways away, you son of a yeah. bitch. Oh, I just I just assume because, like, well, you know, half of half of the league makes the playoffs. Well, to be so honest, you can thuck on both of my balls. Okay. <laughs> you can thuck them really clean. All right. Chris, let's, <laughs> Should all right. I take this guy out of here? No, this guy, no, 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 no. I mean, so, I just met him. He's already telling you to Chris suck is, his balls. Chris is, Chris is good people, okay? Chris is good people. Okay. And, and we I'll got a, we got a game out. to play with him. To be honest, I really want to kick Phil Rant to that. Chris, Phil, wow. seriously. Come on. No, Guys. He's, he's trying to kick me out, and I am, I am much taller than him, first of all. <laughs> and point B... I am a professional basketball player. Chris, look, this is the first time you two have met. We finally get you in a room together, and you're already fighting, guys. Let's just play the game. Yeah, let's let's play the game. What do you have in store for us, Jordo? Okay, the name of the game is Basketball, Not a Basketball. Okay. Basketball. Not a Basketball. Okay, so here's how we play. <laughs> NBA logos. Deal or no deal. I don't know. Yeah. NBA logos. A lot of them have a basketball in them. You will not find this in any other sport. Most I can verify that as an absolute truth. Thank you. I Because I play for the NBA. You do. You play for the now Brooklyn Nets. I play for the Crooklyn Nets. Oh. That's what we call ourselves. Yeah. I don't think they do that. Yeah. Yep. We call ourselves Crooklyn Nets. All right. Well, so I'm going to name a team, and you tell me if in the logo of the team is a basketball. If a basketball is in the logo... You, you think about baseball, very few baseball logos where there's a bat and a ball. Yep. Very few hockey logos, uh, San Jose Sharks maybe, where there is yeah, a... Yeah, the Sharks biting a stick. Right, right. But basketball, there's a lot. Not all, but a lot. To be honest, I would like to interject with a question. Yes. What would happen if it's a logo that contains a logo inside of it that has a basketball? That Then the answer would be basketball. All right. I rescind uh, my question. I actually, I have an issue. Which yes. Which is that I... Um, <clears throat> When you first told us we were going to be playing this game, I thought that you were simply going to present us with objects, and we were going to inform you. To be they honest, were I thought the exact same thing. Or I not was, a basketball. No, that's a plum. That is not a basketball. Exactly. No, that is a basketball because I can dribble it. Yeah, I mean, all of my all of my prep work is out the window. Well, I, I mean, we can we can still play that another time. Okay. Okay. I hope we'll we save do, that for I, a free time. I studied a lot. I went around throughout my household finding objects and determining whether or not they were a basketball. Some kind of close. Soccer ball? Mm -mm. Nope, not a basketball. Can't throw that in a basket. You get Trust arrested. Trust me, Jordan. I I did the hard ones, like the <laughs> soccer ball or even the volleyball. Is that a? Is it like orange volleyballs? Yeah, very common. Mm -hmm. Are we ever gonna play a game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I am a very busy man. I'm looking for a new wife. Hey, Chris, it's coming up. Okay. How is the single life going? To be honest, not very good. I spend most of the time with a boombox outside of. Kim Kardashian's house. Oh, that's just sad. And yeah. I play. And you're uh, dating yourself. I play with that Mambo reference. Number Five. Yeah, and I, also <laughs> that, I don't think that's a reference that Kim is going to pick. Only up I on. changed all the female names to Kim, so it's a little bit of Kim <laughs> in my life, a little bit of Kim by my side, a <laughs> little bit of Kim is all I need, a little bit of Kim is all I see. That's a little uh, bit of Kim in the sun. Boy, a little bit of Kim all night long. And she's a little not, bit of Kim here I am. This, really? Because a that, little bit of me makes me your man. Yeah, that uh, I can't imagine how she could possibly resist such. A, I know, right? Yeah. All right, we're 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 delaying. Let's get Atlanta on the, Hawks. Atlanta Hawks basketball, not a basketball. I know this one. Can I interject? Yes. Uh, t to be honest, uh, I have played the Atlanta Hawks in uh, some street pickup games. 
Okay. And I know for a fact that their logo is a hawk and therefore does not have a basketball. Uh, Phil? Uh, geez, I don't I, I just assume that it probably does have a basketball. It's probably a hawk with a basketball, right? So you're going with the basketball? Yeah, it's got it in his talents. No, I'm, I'm trying to think vaguely of the NBA logos, and I don't think there is a basketball in it. The hawk is holding a basketball. Uh, yeah, it. see, I was right. It had the <laughs> hawk in his talons. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I don't believe that that's a basketball because it is silver, and therefore I believe it's some sort of ball bearing or bullet for a musket. <laughs> you, but, but then why would it have grooves in the it's same a pattern? Val- it's as a those valid a basketball. It, it's still a basketball, Chris. Yeah, we're gonna go with a basketball. Okay, Chris. well I, that that's a gimme. All right, Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls. Basketball, not a basketball. Uh, to be honest, I know this one for a fact. Yes. It is a giant red bull head that haunts my nightmares. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, Phil? Yeah. Uh, I I agree. I think it's a giant red bull head. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say not a basketball. It is not a basketball. Yeah, yeah there is a head. giant red bull head. This is one of the few logos in the NBA that has never involved a basketball. It's a good thing we're playing a visual yeah. game for a podcast. I know. <laughs> I, I, I remember that. Well, people can look up the logos, or they might even just know them. But to be honest, I thought that there would be video cameras here. Oh, I'm something of a celebrity. Yeah, we understand that, Chris. But uh, but it's a podcast. It's entirely oral. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought you said television production. <laughs> no, it's not. No, we did not. You can bring. You, you know, possibly. it's it's bring your own production. Yeah. If you want to, if, if you, you want to bring the cameras from your reality show over sometime, we can film you on the podcast. No, well, to be honest, maybe I should have brought a flip cam. Minnesota okay. Timberwolves. Minnesota Timberwolves. Your hometown team, Chris. That is. I grew up in Minnesota. I was born in 1985. Okay, we're familiar. Okay, fine. I will move on then. <laughs> uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves, of course, because Timberwolves come from a cold climate, uh, basketballs would deflate inside of such cold, so they would not be able to have a basketball in the logo. Phil? I disagree. I think there's a basketball in the logo. I think the Timberwolf is playing basketball. I'm going to go basketball because I have never seen this logo before, so... Not a basketball. Oh. 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 Chris Humphreys was right. Are we You're goddamn are we right. losing I was to Chris right. Humphreys? Chris Humphreys. That's right. The team you play for, the formerly New Jersey Nets, now... Uh, the Crooklyn Nets. Crooklyn Nets. Did they... If they changed their logo? The, the logo has not changed. Okay. No. Uh, we add a little pizzazz to it. We like to bedazzle our, our jerseys before the season. Does everybody like to do that, or is that just you? That's just me. Yeah. Kim taught me. Yeah. Certain but things To be, to be honest, off. I look at this logo often yes. to get yeah. in the right mindset to kill the opposing team on the court. Mm-hmm. And I know for a fact there is a little ball swooshing through the net. Uh, ah, geez, I don't know. Um, yes? I guess I got to go with Chris. It's his team, so I'm going to go basketball. It is a basketball going there through the There we go. You see, I know because I play for the New Jersey Nets. What's really odd about the logo, no net on the logo. It's just a ring as if the basketball was Saturn. I would, would like to point out that this basketball is also gray, like the one in the Hawks logo, and you, you tried to sort of get out of that Yeah, one. but who would, put, who would put a bullet through a basketball hoop? To be honest, that is a stupid thing for you to say. Annie Oakley? New Orleans Hornets. New Orleans Hornets. Uh, oh. Okay, oh, to be, to be honest, I know this one for a fact. The Hornet is uh, turned into a, a human-like character with something of a personality. It's something called... <laughs> it's something called... It's, it's something called uh, personification to give uh, animal human-like traits. Oh, wow. So I'm going to say that the, the Hornet is dribbling a little basketball. Phil? Phil? Ah, geez. Uh, I would say that uh, Hornet... Uh, basketball is way too big for a Hornet, so no, it can't. it can't be. I, I think Mr. Humphreys is correct me. I think it's a hornet and dribbling a basketball. It is a hornet dribbling uh, a basketball. See, I told you because I play basketball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going with you from here on out, Chris. You've proven you can I wore you know a lot of doing. starter jackets growing up. San and, Antonio oh, no. Spurs. No, oh, I know this one for a fact. Do you? San, San Antonio Spurs doesn't have a logo because the U just looks like a spur. So I'm going to say no basketball. Phil? Uh, I don't know. Yes. Because basketball, I'm gonna go no basketball. It's just like a boom. See, no I knew basketball. that one because it's a U and it's got a spur. See, I'm a basket. I'm, so, I'm a basketball player. I don't know if you know this. And to be honest, this game is a little elementary. <laughs> All right, <laughs> last we'll do. We'll wrap it up here. Okay, All I have right. a lot more. I have the entire league. No. Let's do. Let's do one more. Toronto one more. Raptors. Ooh. Oh. Uh, to be honest, I did not know Canada had a basketball team. <laughs> I thought that they only played hockey and fur trapped. You, you've played them before. Oh. 
They're in the Eastern Conference. I must have blocked that out when I blocked out my entire relationship with Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Uh, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna say that uh, there there is there is a basketball because I believe the Raptors dribbling a little basketball. Uh, you know what Chris Humphrey's been right so much and we've kind of made peace we've been holding hands for the last couple so I'm going to say yes I noticed that I agree it's a raptor dribbling a little basketball uh I believe that's correct though I would like to point out they I'm pretty sure they went with the dinosaur instead of the bird of prey yeah yes it's it's a raptor dribbling a basketball it it? is a velasa raptor Joel which is a dinosaur yes dribbling a basketball see I told you because I play basketball it's palming it with its claws. See, if yeah. you notice, it's also personified. It looks more like a person than a dinosaur because it's got a smile. Anthro- anthropomorph, isn't that? An- Anthropomorphized. I do not acknowledge that as the real word, to be honest. <laughs> well, thank you very much for yeah, coming, Yeah, thanks Chris. for we, coming, we, Chris. We appreciate to have you again. To be honest, I had a, a somewhat good time. I give it a C+. Plus. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thank you. All right, we got to welcome to the studio, Guy hey, Gagne. Welcome back, Hello, Guy. hello, hello, hello. Hey, how you doing? Uh, last time you were got a little upset with me, and I'd like to apologize. Your apologies are accepted, Felranta. Great, now we can move on with our lives. <laughs> You've been getting into it with a lot of the guests. I know, I apologize. I appreciate that. I did not want to drop the gloves in the, in the fight with you. Yeah, I did notice that you were wearing gigantic goalie gloves the entire time. I thought that was a little strange. I am I'm doing it so I can mask my shame. Is oh, not a good time for hockey right now. Oh, well, why not? It's a great time. You got the Stanley Cup playoffs. No. No. What? What's not what's anymore. What's... These these playoffs are not worthy of the cup that is so Nobel. <sighs> the the Nobel Prize? I just I think it's no. it the Stanley Cup he's referring to. Oh. Firstly, I would point out that my predictions at the Beginning the last podcast I was on, that it was going to be Pittsburgh and Vancouver in the finals. It's not going to be no. any of those teams. No, <laughs> both both lost in the first round. Well, oh. geez, what good are you if you're not going to guess the right teams? I thought you were an expert. I thought you were a hockey analyst. Yeah. Do not dance with the devil, Fiorenta. <laughs> See, I knew he was the devil. We were doing the jitterbug <laughs> right before this. No, what I refer to, and this is a tragedy for all of the history of hockey, is the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix and Los Angeles. <laughs> Wait, how do you say Los Angeles? <laughs> Los Angeles. That's a very, that's a very French-Canadian pronunciation. That is. That's oh. very French-Canadian. So you're planning on coming down to, to, to the hot territories to come and check out the, uh, the finals? No. No, mm. I refuse. But you're in L.A. right now. That's how we're doing this interview. Point taken. Yeah, so you're just not going to stick around and watch the hockey. It's on no, I refuse to watch hockey down here. If you do not have ice, naturally, you should not have a hockey team. Oh, we got ice here. We've got, um, a, like, have you ever, there's a lot of restaurants here that give huge margaritas. No, and you get them on the rocks. This is not ice. It should be cold outside. It's not much better. Nashville was one of the other teams that was playing to be in the Western Conference Finals. Well, it's a, it can actually. I think that it actually kind of gets cold in Tennessee at times. Yeah. Uh, it, you can get some ice there in the winter. It's never going to happen in Phoenix or Los Angeles. Right. Los Angeles, had, though, it gets chilly. It gets nippy. It can get down to like 50 at It night. gets very chilly. Yeah. 50 is downright nippy. This is not the same. Hockey is about the winter time. It should be played outdoors on a pond if you could. No, Christmas is about the winter time. Hockey is just about <laughs> people with sticks. Okay, Renta, you are, uh, how you say, right? Pushing your sheet all over the place. Oh, I'm spreading bullshit. Yeah. Oh, okay. I kind of like pushing your shit all over the place. It makes it sound more hockey-ish. It does. It does. Like you're, you're playing, instead of with a puck, you're playing with a piece of shit and you're just pushing it all over the place. Do not have, uh, well, see, a piece of shit pushed all over the place by hockey teams is what we're going to have in the Western Conference Finals. Oh, what, what can we do to make this better for you, Guy? Come on, you're being a downer. What? Move the teams to Canada. What? <laughs> <laughs> Move the Kings and the Coyotes to Canada? Okay, the Coyotes we were the Jets beforehand. Right. And the king stole Wayne Gretzky from us. You know, that surprised me because I heard that when you're a Jet, you're a Jet all the way. From your first cigarette to your last dying day. When you're a jet and the shit gets pushed around by a stick, 
You got brothers around. You're a family man. Are you how you say fucking with me? Yes, that is exactly what we say. I'm <laughs> fucking with you right now. But seriously, uh, Canada doesn't have any coyotes, right? You would rename the teams, presumably, but... Uh, they also well, don't have any jets, for that matter. Right, and frankly, I don't think there's we ever been a king jets. anywhere. <laughs> really? We are not flying around on prop planes, I, how you say. I believe you've got planes. I don't believe you have jets. We have jets. Okay, fine. I, I, won't, I won't push that, but what would you rename them if they went up there? Where would you put them, and what would you name them? Well, Phoenix has already a team back in Winnipeg, which is good. Oh. Uh, Phoenix, I would move to Quebec City. Oh, Frenchy oh. town. Yes, 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 yes. Would you bring would you rename them as the as, as the Nordiques? Uh no. 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 Or, or the Mordiques? Okay, Renta, you are seriously pushing your luck. I know I'm pushing shit all over the place. I'm You're sorry. Pushing shit all over the place. Okay. What would you name them? Poutine. Poutine? Like with fries with gravy? Quebec City Poutine. That's disgusting. It does when you say after Quebec City, it does not sound it does not sound right. good. Okay, Quebec we could go City with Nordiques. Poutine. I was also thinking the Quebec City Harp Seals. All right, wh- where would you move the Kings then? What would you name them? Uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. To the Yukon. To the Yukon. <laughs> Yukon territory. No one would go. That's not it, a city. The Yukon Frontiersman. <laughs> uh, would it just would it just be random places throughout the Yukon where they played? They they could rotate. Yeah. Who who, who, would, who would go to these games? It's not very populated up there, is it? The the yeah. Piva Trappers who was still operating. Oh gee, that would be that would not be a the good tra- audience. The fur trapper economy collapsed <laughs> in the eighteen nineties, Gee. Right. He's making a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well we have to say goodbye to you, Gee. It was nice what? having you. What? This is all? Yeah, You're that's sending it. Away. No, you had, on we yet. had fun. Not- Get the hell out. Hey, Ranta, easy. I'm sorry, he was being pushy. Gee's not done with you. All right, we'll we'll you have will you need back. Me back when the finals are part. Okay, we'll I have need. you back, but just don't make eye contact. All right, everyone, that brings us to the end of another sports 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 podcast. Before we go, we'd like to give you one last note on Guy Gagne. He just left in a huff, guys. Yep. I just, I know you went to go make muffins. Yeah, yeah I did. That's what I we was call making pooping. muffins for Guy. Yeah. All right. He, he's my friend. Right. I get him to come on to the show. He's a big time Canadian hockey analyst. I love the guy. I'm a big fan. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, Phil has some sort of issue with him because you were talking all. He, he walked out in a huff. Cursing well, if, in French. If I was a cat, about, he would be petting me in the wrong direction. I don't even know what that means. That's, yeah. The, I think the cat reference would only further infuriate Guy were I'm he still sure here. I'm sure it would. I, him and I are like oil and vinegar. <sighs> all right. Let's. 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 Let's finish the show up. I'm just saying, we want to have Guy back. Please do not antagonize Fine. him. Fine. Well, if you have more complaints about how I treated Guy, you can email us at sportsportsportspodcast@gmail.com. Or if you want to say how mean I was to Guy, you can send me a tweet at our Twitter, Sports Number Three Podcast. That's Sports Number Three Podcast. Or find us on Facebook by searching Sports 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 Podcast. Or you can check us out on uh, iTunes by searching Sports Number Three, all one word, Sports Number Three Space Podcast. Or you can find us on ComedyPodcastNetwork.com and listen to all of our back episodes. Yeah, and our and our our sister podcast. Yeah, you can listen to Curtain, Curtain Jerks, Jerks. Yep. or you can listen to uh, Funny Because It's True, the storytelling podcast, or you can listen to Top Story Weekly and get your newsy jokes. Mm-hmm. Or all you can listen to all the other great podcasts on ComedyPodcastNetwork.com. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it at that. Have a good night, everybody. Lights off. For more funny stuff for your eyes and ears. Go to ComedyPodcastNetwork.com.